Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a quick video on how to edit your quick access toolbar. So we're just in a, the Autodesk sample model, the basic one, the uh, architectural one in 2020. So, um, and, but this should be the same um, for at least uh, since 15 version. I can't speak 14 and before that because I haven't worked on those uh, Revit versions, but um, 15 and on uh, it should be about the same but if you want to add anything to the quick access toolbar all you have to do is right click on any button uh, I don't know what the limits are I don't know if there's ones that you can't add but from the most for the most part it seems that you can add about uh, any of them so if we just want to add like model text for you know whatever reason if it's something that we're constantly using and we don't have a keyboard shortcut that we use or that um, doesn't necessarily align with that uh, button we could just add it to the quick uh, um, quick access toolbar so by right clicking it you'll get this little button and it's pretty easy you just click on that and then it'll add it to it and then you can see here if we expand that something that's also nice too if you come up here and right click your quick access toolbar you can say uh, show it uh, below the ribbon and if you show it below the ribbon it can you can have more buttons on it because sometimes this name up here kind of blocks that out and as you saw bef uh, before it kind of uh, uh, it couldn't extend it any more than what it is now and it added this uh, these two things so this switch windows and model text which we just added to this little extension button but again if we just show it uh, below the ribbon which is something I do uh, you can add as many as you want up here and it, it kind of extends across the entire page um, if that's something you want to do you know it's probably best to have it down here unless you know you're fine with uh, clicking that extension button uh, another way to add uh, uh, your quick access buttons is to come down here and just say customize quick access toolbar and by clicking this you can see what's already on here and you can actually organize this stuff so if you wanted this to be moved up you could do that um, and uh, if you wanted to remove something you could also do it from this panel and uh, it's just as simple as clicking on it and I think if we select this button here, it'll actually add a separator. So this line here, as you see, um, and you can see the little symbol next to it. So if for whatever, for whatever reason we wanted to have a separator right after this, we could click on that. And if it wasn't in the correct spot, we could click on it and then move it. And again, if we don't need it, we could come up here and then delete it. Uh, we can't add anything here. Um, as far as I know and there's no option to really do that so you're gonna have to go into the actual ribbons and or the actual ribbon and then you know each of the tabs and panels and click on the buttons that you want to add to your quick access toolbar but you can manage all that through here afterwards um, if you wanted to move things around um, you could also click this checkbox to show quick access toolbar below ribbon so if we uncheck click um, uncheck that we'll see that it goes back to uh, the top here again if we wanted to switch it back we would just do that which would then check that box again which we just unchecked so um, that's about it it's, it's pretty easy it's just that dialog box and then right clicking on the buttons that you want to add to your um, quick access toolbar and uh, you know it's more or less there just so that you can be a little bit more efficient um, I tend to like to add things that I wouldn't necessarily use a keyboard shortcut for maybe it's something that's not as common or maybe it is 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 common but the keyboard shortcut doesn't align with something that's specific to that name because the first time I started using using keyboard shortcuts for me um, in Revit it was pretty easy because for the most part what I was using like if we come to the systems um, tab we can see that there's like a duct for for instance <coughs> excuse me um, and that's DT which is you know um, pretty pretty simple and obvious and 
Like, if you wanted Air ter- Terminal, it was just AT. And, like, Flex Duck was just FD. So, a lot of the, uh, or, like, Cable Tray was um, uh, CT, which if we come over here and we can see that. Um, and to me, you know, I kind of want my keyboard shortcuts to align to that kind of um, uh, structure. You know, that when I create the, the shortcut, it needs to somewhat be an abbreviation of the tool that I'm using. And if, and if a variety, because sometimes you can, you know, uh, you, you may have different options, but if all those are kind of taken up when you try to apply that keyboard shortcut, it may be better to apply that to a key, um, quick access toolbar button. If um, it's like a, because for me, if it's, if it's related to if the the abbreviation for that keyboard shortcut is related to the actual button then I remember it way better than I would um, otherwise and you know I've tried to add a variety of different keyboard shortcuts if already you know what I wanted was taken up and I generally generally end up forgetting that keyboard shortcut and uh, so I would just add it to my quick access toolbar so that's it. I just wanted to show that. So um, let me know if you have any questions. If you like, um, like, share, and comment, uh, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot for watching.